if you are not using ChatGPT to study, you are really missing out, especially the newly released version, which is GPT-5. I tried the study mode that is embedded in it. And what used to take me months to study actually take me just two hours to study. In fact, it's really insane. And it is actually different from the traditional ways of studying. I'm going to be teaching you how you can apply it in this video. And I'm going to be showing you what exactly the study mode, which is embedded in GPC-5, can actually do for you and how it can transform the way you study. Then after that, I'm going to be giving you real prompts that you can input while you are studying that will give you great response and can guide you while you are studying that can give you good results and remember everything you study. These are the remarkable things that I noticed about what the study mode embedded under ChatGPT 5 can do. I noticed about five things and I'll be sharing that with you right now. The first thing I noticed is that it will explain something to you in step-by-step -step process, everything you need to do and to break it down in manageable step. Take for example, you are trying to learn a topic in mathematics and I tried it myself. When I asked it to explain a particular concept, which is optimization of functions in mathematics, it actually broke down the step that I'm going to be I'm going to use in solving that particular problem. And I was really amazed about how it gave it. In fact, there are some teachers that will not actually go to that extent of breaking data for you. It's very good. You should try it. I was able to solve the mathematics question by the step-by-step -step guidance that it gave me. And it was really good. In fact, aside from mathematics, you can use it for English. You can use it for chemistry. You can use it for any subject at all. Just provide certain prompts and it will give you step-by-step -step process. And I'll be showing you the prompts that you can give it to give you accurate response in this video. And another thing that I noticed about ChatGPT is that it was adaptive to my level. With the prompt I gave it, it was able to observe the way I structured my prompt and gave me the correct answer that will make me understand. It didn't give me a particular response that is too complex for me and it didn't give me a particular response that is too simple. It just gave me what I could understand based on my level and based on the based on how i was able to interact with it because over time while you interact with ai it will actually observe the way you are interacting with it and it will actually know a lot about you so the more you interact with it the more it will know more about you and the more to be able to provide answers that will suit your understanding and it is very good you should try it when i was trying to learn a topic that i found difficult maybe oligopoly in economics I was really amazed how it actually responded and was able to observe the way I prompted it. Another thing I noticed about the study mode that is embedded under GPT-5 is that it can provide active learning methods. Active learning methods are methods that you can use that can help you retain certain things. It can provide quizzes and problem questions that will help you test your understanding about a particular concept. And I tried it and it really worked for me. In fact, there was a point in time that I gave it a particular question and we, we, we began to have certain conversations and it began to test my understanding and based on the response I gave it, it was able to correct my response and give me the correct answer that I was supposed to I was supposed to give to it. So it was able to observe my own response and point out the errors and the deficiencies in my understanding and corrected me. It's really insane. It is really more than what a teacher can do. A teacher will not be able to do that. I was able to do it without any complaint and you should try it. Later in this video, as I like I said, I'm going to be giving you prompts that you can put in that will help you get all this accurate response. Another thing that I noticed is that it can provide multiple learning models. That is, it will not only give you explanation in text alone. It will give you diagrams, formulas that will support and make you understand a particular concept that you are trying to learn. It will give you certain mathematical notations that it will not even only explain in words. It will give you things that you need to understand it and it is really insane. When I was trying to learn a particular graphical illustration under a particular topic, it was able to break down the graph and tell me how I'm going to go about it. And there are certain prompts that I provided, which I'll be showing you shortly in this video. Another thing which really amazed me is that it can boost your retention. Aside from the fact that it can provide 
instructions to you and teach you about a particular concept. It can also guide you through on how you can retain the information that is, and it will make you remember it later. To give you certain strategies and certain steps on how you can apply certain learning, certain study techniques, which is active recall space repetition. And I'll be showing you exactly how it can do that perfectly shortly. So if you are getting value on this video so far, kindly like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Right now, I'm going to be going into the practical way on how you can actually use the new GPT-5 in order for you to study in two hours instead of studying for a month and it will help you remember it all. I have five prompts that I'll be showing you very quickly and I'm going to be dropping the five prompts in the description that you can download for free. So I'm going to be showing you on how you can actually use it to study. If you want me to coach you one-on-one, -on -one, a personalized coaching session, you can click the link in the description to get started with me and I'll coach you on how you can study smart, how you can build discipline, how you can be consistent with your study. And I'll give you a study plan that is in alignment with your own schedule. And when time you study, you have to stick to the study plan and I'll give you an accountability checkup and I'll make sure that you stick to the plan. Just click on the link to sign up with my one-on-one -on -one coaching and I'll make you study smart and get great results in your exams. As you can see, introducing the GPT-5 and as according to what they said, they said that GPT now has our smartest, fastest and useful model yet thinking built in so you can get the best results every single time so they've actually made it better than the gpt4 because the gpt4 usually hallucinates and don't actually give accurate answer but now they've improved it on the chat gpt5 and i'm going to be showing you this prompt because this chat gpt5 is actually way better than the chat gpt4 and it's going to give you prompts and it's even way smarter i'm going to be studying production and I'll be and I'll show you the prompt so that when you use when you copy the prompt also and model it to what you are studying, you'll be able to get the right result and be able to get everything this model has to offer. But before we go into instead of typing ask anything, you can go to this plus sign, and when you click the plus sign, you see study and learn section. So when you click the study and learn section. That's really suggested some prompts for you already, but then I'm not going to be going into those ones yet because I have my own already. So I'm going to be dropping my first prompt, which is this. Now see, you say, I'm a postgraduate student. I want to study production and I want you to help me by giving me foundational knowledge about production. So now I am going that by asking you to give me foundational knowledge why am i doing this you might be studying and there are some things that you, you actually need to know in order for you to study a particular topic that you are finding difficult or you want it to teach you so in order for you to take care of those deficiencies this, this is why this prompt is very important that is required in order to understand production perfectly and i want you to focus on production in economics so as you can see from this prompt, i am actually going specific on what i want and i've stated who am I and why I want to study it. So once I enter the prompt, let's see what it's going to give. So this is it. All right, Abayomi, since you are a postgraduate student, we are looking at production in, in economics. We start with the core foundation you need before diving into deeper models, curves and theories. Here is how we will structure it from basic to advanced so your understanding builds naturally. So you can see it has actually stated everything I need to know, but then it's not actually giving me what I want yet. Now, I've actually laid the foundation, but then I want it to do something for me. And that is that what leads to the second prompt. Now, if you are a student, most especially your undergraduate or postgraduate, there are specific textbooks that has been recommended for you in school. And most likely your lecturer I've told you that you actually need to use that textbook to study. And you asking AI to explain a particular concept is going to go to general. But then I'm going to, that's why I said, when you are asking AI, you need to be specific about what you want. So I'm going to be asking it this particular prompt, particular prompt to make me go specific. 
about what I want. And I'm going to be showing you that very quickly. So as you can see, this particular prompt is actually going specific for me. And I said, give me an outline of the topic production because I'm not satisfied with what it gave me. And I range from simple to complex, referring to my microeconomics textbook. So I reference the intermediate microeconomics by variant. So the outline that is going to give me is going to be relating to what is in the textbook, whether it is recommended by lecturers or sorts. So I'm going to be dropping it. So once you drop it, you will observe that the outline is going to change from what it gave me before. So got it. I'll build a simple to complex outline for production based on intermediate microeconomics by variant. So it follows the logical flow used in academic economics outline. So you can see it's actually it has given me the, uh, can you see that everything it gave me here is actually different from what it gave me because this is a bit advanced. This is an advanced economics. This is an advanced production outline. As you can see, we have some mathematical notations here, which is not in the previous one. So this is exactly what I need. And this is what I need to focus on. So now from the topic here, there are maybe I want to just have laid the foundation already. So anything that is going to be giving me will be giving it will be giving me it will be giving me based on what is in the textbook. So now I want you to go further by explaining particular topic so i have a prompt that will do that perfectly i'm going to be showing you very quickly this is the third prompt that i will be giving it and i want you to pay attention and this is where the real learning comes in now explain short run and long run as if you are teaching a 10 year old using analogies and mental hooks now the essence of using analogies and mental hooks is for it to be able to relate to what you already know before. And mental tricks is about taking what, maybe applying it to a particular thing that you can quickly remember. So it's going to actually break because I've picked a topic which is short run and long run. So once I drop the third prompt, so let's flip it down. Let's strip it down so even a 10 year old could get it. So short run and long run in economics kid friendly version so the analogy is imagine you are running a laminate stand that's the analog that is the experience so when you are studying when you do this it's going to give you an experience that you can relate to no teacher can do that perfectly like chat and now that it has been upgraded to chat 5 i will advise you i will employ you to keep using it to learn because it, this is a game changer so in the short run gave me a typical explanation using the foundational knowledge you already have a table signboard and a jog that are fixed if lots of tasty people tasty people show up you can you can hire your little brother to help or buy more lemon these are variable so it is giving me examples of what variable and fixed input is he said fixed input is the table and chair Based on what you already know that you can relate to, I have my little brother, which is a very so it's not going to complex to me. You can see how fun it is. So this short run, so this is the mental trick that it gave. Think of short run as small stuff, still, some stuff still, still. So that is short run like something that is still, still. So the long run it gave now, and the economic link short run at least one so it gave me the economic lean and it gave me the foundational one that i can easily relate to that's the essence of the analogy that is there so if you like you can link this laminate stand analogy directly to production function and cost of course so you will see why short run and matters in economic diagram so it's actually suggesting where you can go next but i'm not interested in that now that i have a little picture of what it is i want to test my understanding and there's a prompt for that so I'll be dropping my fourth prompt. Fourth prompt. I'll be dropping my fourth prompt, and this is the fourth prompt. The fourth prompt is have a Socratic conversation where you ask me questions and challenge my understanding and slowly increase the complexity of our conversation on this topic so i'm asking you to give me socratic conversation the essence of this is for me is to make learning active 
instead of me just provide just giving it prompt and giving me something to read i'm asking you to give me question on what i have of what i have learned so that it will test my understanding of whether i understood it or not and if it doesn't understand it is going to know and it will point out the deficiencies in my understanding and make me understand and as i go on it's going to increase the level of the complexity of the question from simple to complex as you see in this so all right let's let's start simple and then build until you think until you, you are thinking like an economist can you see so the question one is basic now a laminate stand analogy if you can i am more past tomorrow but can't buy a stand until next year what period are you short run or long run so it's actually testing my understanding based on the analogy that it gave me so now short run long run and why so as you can see from i've provided my answer the sh i said short run the reason is that and the reason is that the period is so short that the laminate stand is not tending to depreciation so let's see whether i got it right so exactly you are in the short run because at least one factor is fixed the other can change your depreciation point is interesting so it's going in economics we usually focus less on wear and tear here and more on time flexibility to change inputs but thinking about depreciation does hint at the passage of time so now answered so it keeps so the next step in the short run at least one is fixed if in the short run all that does that mean to the firm's ability to adjust the demand change so you can see that it's actually so if you go on and on like that you keep providing answers to it and it will test your understanding whether you actually understood now this is actually going to help you to use active recall but now how can you actually solidify the information over time and make it stick and that will lead us to the next prompt which is to create a quiz and to give you a plan so our next prompt is this so create a quiz and a space repetition plan based on what i've learned so i'm going to i'm, I'm asking you to give me a plan for the next seven days of what on what i've learned so once it gives me i'll be following it and i'll keep coming back to the chat to help me do that so we'll turn your short run and long run knowledge into quiz and build on space repetition plan so it sticks so it's giving me a quiz a short quiz that i can follow and while you are while you are answering it is very important for you to answer the question just input the question like this one now for the question one in economics the short run means that at least at least one input varies so that's the answer true or false in the short run if a firm can change its factory size technology and number of workers so in the long run that's true that's true for two that is true this is exactly how you can you input the answers in order for you to test your understanding so which is the best which is the better short run example hiring more staff tomorrow to meet extra demand building a brand new factory next year so this is a very applied question and the answer is a it's exactly how you can answer the question so fill in the gap in the short in the in the dash run all inputs can be adjusted in the dash run at least so first one is long and the next one is short so provided all the answers so let me see whether i'm actually correct but before i go on this is the space repetition plan for the next 30 days so that is that so the day one is said take the quiz once without looking the notes that is you answer it. so check the answer and review mistakes immediately then day three retake the quiz from memory that is the plan so that is that about that so if you got so much value from this video please like the video and also subscribe to the channel can also check out other videos on other things you need in order for you to use ai to study i hope you got so much value and if you did please like the video and also subscribe to the channel so you can click the link in the description to get started or click this link right here to get started with me with my one-on-one -on -one coaching so thank you and see you next time